Now, my sister Fairy Puss covered the story. If you want, I shared it on my story. Fairy Puss, you there? Well, Fairy Puss in the back back there. Hold on, take Fairy Puss oh, down. My right. sister oh, covered the story. Back. There she go. You back. Girl, she was getting her soft drink. <laughs> take yourself off oh, mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. You're on mute. Take yourself off mute. I was, I was actually getting a soft drink. I saw you in the reflection. I can see your cup. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? Hey, Quack, the writer's sword. How are you? Hey, tra hey transsexual Madison. Hi, baby. Yes. How you doing? And how's Mo? Mo, we got to come up with a fag name for you. <laughs> He's the adjacent. The adjacent one. <laughs> Really? The adjacent the one? The adjacent one. Next door. <laughs> He's the gentleman next door. Right next door. <laughs> Duplex. Right. Sharing the same wall. Attached. Oh, so I can hear everything? Uh-huh. <laughs> you can almost feel it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Fairy Puss, let's run it. Because I see you had interviewed one of the trans men. I did listen to, I watched your interview today with the trans man. And I also, I also heard what he said. I heard what they, what he, but, but, and I didn't dismiss what he said. However, I was completely dismissed from the conversation and it became all about them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I want to start because honestly, your story, your experience with the trans man, you going into more detail and about how stealthy it was and gender dysphoric and spreading gender dysphoria first of all i want to ask you how are you because that sounds like a traumatizing experience i felt some type of way sister because i thought that i was back in the in, back in the day with a back in the day trade because you know as a trans woman you've met trade that have been like hey i'm gonna fuck with you i just don't want to see your dick and yourself so i'm thinking and in my mind i was trying to process how am i even gonna deal with this i really like this person how am i gonna deal with this how am I going to deal with this? Like this person is putting me back in the closet, like putting me mm -hmm. back in the space. Like, like how am I? Cause I don't even, I tell trans women all the motherfucking time. If you get in the car with a nigga and he laying his seat back, that's not your nigga. If he, if, if, if he, it, don't let this nigga put you back in the closet. And for this motherfucker to be sitting over here telling me, I don't want to, cause niggas now I do fuck with men that don't want to have anything to do with my cock, but it's not like, it's nasty because he gave it was very nasty. It was like, nah, you ain't, you shouldn't even be, as a woman, you shouldn't even be talking about your penis. You shouldn't have no connection to it. You should, this is what he had explained to me before that's, we even got down to the stipulations. That's not what we should be experiencing from, from other transgender people. We have to deal with those cis hetero norms enough when we deal with straight identifying people, when we deal with people who are curious, when we have first experiences with cisgender people just dealing with ignorance period when it comes to our body and our anatomy like that is not i i really genuinely feel sorry because you know i primarily date transgender men and i've never had that type of experience with a transgender man and for you to have to experience that from your own from somebody in your own community somebody you were developing feelings for somebody who you developed a bond with like i it it I, it honestly hurts my heart. Like fuck all the the cisgender people and and what they have to say. We we supposed to have each other's back. We supposed to to know gender dysphoria and to experience it. And for you to have your own issues with your body parts and you know that it it comes with the territory. It comes with the territory of being trans. Bottom dysphoria is closely associated with gender dysphoria for a lot of people, but. That's nasty work and, and not in a good way. It, it very much gives transference. It very much gives trauma transference. It gives like he was, I don't know if intentionally or not, but he was transferring his bottom dysphoria, his, to you. He, he wanted you to have, he wanted you to hate your private parts in the same way that it appears he may hate him. Now I will say this, right? I tried to make the things work. I was like, well, maybe we, there were so many things going on in my brain. I was not opposed to dating him at all. He set the rules up in the beginning of how my dick was like ill. He did that to me. 
I said that at the top of the video. He was like, nah, everybody hears what they want to hear and then they take it to this place and they want to be offended. I didn't say anything transphobic because I could have said, nigga, I don't, I don't even want to fuck you in your pussy because I don't like fucking pussy. I'm not gay. It's what about the time? Hey, listen, that's what you like. That, that's just wonderful. This is my thing. What about the time when I sat up here and I told the story about the trans, the trainee that I was locked up in jail with that tried to bull dag with me? I don't want no titties at the top and dick at the bottom. I didn't want that motherfucking hoe on top of me. And bitch, she's a trainee too. I didn't want that bitch on top of me. I didn't want no film dick in me. Ho. And that just and that just goes to show how you validate other trans people and how you truly see us as the gender that we identify with and and that's what's crazy to me people considering your original rant transphobic because you you never once referred to this person out outside of their gender identity you refer to this person as a man with a vagina and that's what it is trans people we have to get comfortable with, with our autonomy we have to get comfortable with our identities truly just because you're comfortable calling yourself a pronoun or you're comfortable calling yourself a name don't mean that you're really comfortable being trans. And and sister, let me tell you something. I really like this man, this transgender man so much that I was, I was, I was talking, I talked to my friends about it and we're not going to get deep into our, to the things because it's, I don't want to, you know, but I talked to my friends. I talked to some of my other friends at work when I went to work in my job. I don't want to say who it was, but I talked to a very prominent person. And she told me she's a cisgender woman that has a that has a trans man son. And she said to me, Madison, the problem why that she that he despised your penis was because it's the dyke in him. Mm. It's, mm. The deep, it's the deep rooted lesbian in him. That hates dick. Like somebody just said, penis envy. Oh, they stole my word. Yeah. And so I was yeah. like, well, I mean, I, you know, I don't see them as a dyke. I see them as a man. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I, I just, I'm not going to let no motherfucking cisgendered male fuck me with this. This, this dick is here because a cisgender male brought this with him because he didn't have enough penis. I have a 60 inch around ass. You got to have some dick to fuck me. Praise and the Lord. Eat it. You got what? My ass is 60 inches around. 60. The circumference. The circumference. <laughs> so you got to have some dick to go up in this motherfucker. And so he didn't have a whole heap of dick. So he brought, this is his thing, his stuff that he brought with him. I told that nigga, sir, whatever God gave you, you got to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come with nothing extra. This ain't working. I can't feel this. Yeah. This, this don't never come. This ain't got no real attachment to me. I can't, I can't feel this. You could be thrusting this in me 150 times. I don't feel nothing. You want to know what's crazy, sis? Cisgender women have these conversations publicly say these things to transgender men all the time and it is never they it, it's never blown out of proportion like this mm. it's, it's never blown up like this like this is and this is the conversation that i know this had because you know i date in lesbian spaces i date in queer spaces i date in trans spaces but primarily i'm dating other transgender people i'm dating people who were assigned female at birth and like you said a lot of it is is um lesbian ideals i believe a lot of it well it ain't no believe a lot of it is pen penis envy because if you want a dick but you hate somebody else's what what else do we call it i mean it, it is what it is and it's, uh, do you do you date um gay men also or you just date lesbians or trans men baby honey if a if a gay man is attracted to the puss honey your identity is your identity. I my, can't sister, my sister is pansexual. That's what I was good. That was my next question. Are you pansexual? Do you identify as pansexual? Yeah, she's pansexual. Okay. I, I, I am I heterosexual, transsexual, bitch. Mm -hmm. I'm but, heterosexual, transsexual. But that needs to be respected. I, I get part of the reason I have my following is because I'm pansexual. But that shouldn't be a requirement am, amongst transgender people. Our sexuality is our own, just like our gender identity is, is our own. Mm -hmm. You know, it took for being pansexual, for example, it was a journey for me. You know, I I called you out a little bit in my video and I was like, you know, sis, think about this. 
if somebody genuinely loves you from top to bottom, from, from head to toe, you think that they're not going to want every part of you at least to touch it, see it, know it exists, appreciate you for it. You know, it's, it's very realistic. And it's very realistic that, that when somebody genuinely cares about you, there's not going to be limit to what they will and won't touch unless it's a boundary for you. So my but, thing was, my thing was, Sister Two, I don't want to have, I don't even like really fucking men in the ass. I don't really like fucking sister to men in, in the ass. But so why they don't be clean? So, 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 I say it all the time. When the required, when that becomes a requirement, hey, I'm going to jump to the, I'm going to jump, jump, jump to it. I'm going to jump on to, yes. I'm going to jump on in. You know, but, Luther wrote that. But Go that's, ahead. but that's not my preference. That's not my preference. I am a verse bottom. That's not my preference to get on top of a man or be on top of a woman. I don't want to be, I don't want to be, I didn't do all this to be on the top. I was forced you to say even, the about it is this, you shouldn't even have to explain that. Yeah, you know, yes, I have yes, to yes, because yes. I, I have to explain this because people want, want are okay. committed to 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 uh misunderstanding and they committed to being offended. They're committed to this. Mm -hmm. They are committed to this, to take every piece. Why didn't none of the trans men address me saying that that gentleman didn't tell me what he was at the beginning? No one addressed that. None of the trans men that were so up and, and so flustered and so, none of them addressed it. I didn't hear any of them address it. No, they I didn't hear any of them. I didn't hear any of them address and say when I told the story that I was willing to even continue in the relationship. None of them addressed that. They didn't address so, that. So first of all, I'm, I want to say publicly what I told you privately. And and number one, you're the first. You're you're the first to do so many things. You're the first of us to do so many things. And I think people are just envious because of that. I I honestly. Think that there are people who are also transphobic who want to take you down. Um, you know, you all the great things that come with you being the first. You're, you're going to be the first to, to take a lot of hits. You know, look at look at Jackie Robinson. You know, first first black man in the um, national baseball and white baseball. You know, all of the things he had to go with go go through. Um, the Bridges lady who was part of school integration. She she was the first black girl in her school. And it's, it's sad because a lot of us don't even realize, especially as trans people of color, we don't even realize how we perpetuate modern day slavery. And we don't even realize how we perpetuate the vestiges of, of slavery. All of this separatism, all of this dividing for one, Honey, transphobia as we know it, gender dysphoria as we know it, bottom dysphoria as we know it, they are all products of white supremacy. But we ain't even got to go that, go that far today. But that'll give y'all something to process and, and think about. Because keep in mind, before we were colonized nations, most brown nations were trans inclusive and gender queer inclusive. And identity was based on the person and not based on rules that some bullshit society member came up with and we just follow it you know it's uh, it's it's so many things this but it just pisses me off that everybody comes for you in the way that they do because i know the way censorship is set up and the way council culture is set up and you're an entertainer you know i don't want you to ever lose your voice i don't want you to ever sis i'm not I'm not. And I didn't want to even come over here being homophobic, transphobic, cisgender phobic. I ain't want to come do, but I addressed it all in the way that I could have. I could have said, all y'all bitches got pussies and I don't want no none with no motherfucking pussy. I could have said that. I didn't. But it wasn't given that. It wasn't I, given that at I all. I wasn't given that. What I said was, uh, the gentleman didn't, didn't like my peen, and then the stipulations was, I got to get fucked from the back with my face down and ass up. And I'm like, yeah. bro, I don't want to do that. Like, mm -hmm. can, like, can we, or, well, how are we, like, how this going to work? H how are we going to do that? You've told me that you don't even want to see my shit. You don't want to talk to me about it. I shouldn't even be having no conversation about my own joint. So it's less like, girl, what, what, what are we doing here? You knew I was T.S. Madison when you walked in the door. And, bitch, I'm very, I'm body positive. I'm sex positive, bitch. I talk about genitalia. I'm genitalia. Bitch, I'm open. I'm an open book when it rolled down to it. Now, 
the the what the only way that I saw thing I watched you interview trans men about the situation, and I heard my brothers speak. I heard them say the laughing; it felt like a mockery. I couldn't help that they laugh. I I couldn't help that my delivery was it, it was comedic. But it was you're an entertainer. You you say things to to step on my bull dagging ass toes all the time. But the difference, <laughs> but the difference between me and the motherfuckers that are getting offended, I'm very comfortable in my eyes. And I'm very secure in my attraction to other women. I'm very secure in my attraction to other trans people. I'm very secure in my sexuality as a whole. You can't shame me for something that I ain't ashamed of doing, bitch, but you can express your own insecurities about what I do. And that's essentially what, what they're doing, Maddie. People are expressing their own insecurities and in, in their gender identity, and it's sad because we should not be having these conversations, especially regarding each other. Do you know how common it is for trans people to get surgeries and to have medical procedures done to try and please someone that they're dating or try to please someone that they have feelings for. It's bad enough that most of this shit that we do to ourselves and most of the time when we playing guinea pig for these doctors, we we doing it based on society. Yeah. We we doing we doing it to be safe. We doing it to be stealth. We're we're doing it to fit in, to to create comfortable environments yeah. for us. But yeah, to pass, exactly. But for us to have to come home, to have to come to our bedroom, especially with another transgender person, and they breathe in all that societal bullshit in, into your mind, it is very common for me to counsel trans people, trans men, and trans women who have had bottom surgery and regret it. Mm -hmm. But see, <laughs> just like these trans men were upset about this whole thing, this is what we've been saying since we started doing Fag Talk. It's like every other week, every other month, there's a section of the community that's upset about something that we've said. And it's just they, like, you know, so they, can we you just know, not, you all just want to censor us? I don't care if we're talking about the sweep. I don't care if we're talking about trans people. I don't care if we're talking about the fags. I don't care if we're talking about the dykes. I don't care what we talk about over here. There is always church sissies. I don't care what we're talking about. There is always somebody that's going to pop up and have something to say. Who was that dyke bitch that's posing as a trans man that came through there trying to read me? That dyke bitch. Who was that motherfucker, Puerto Rican dyke bitch with all them tattoos on it let them fags get on top of him and fuck him in his pussy? Who is that dyke bitch? Because that's the dyke bitch I'm talking to. That, I, that bitch that has so much pressure in their chest to me, uh, I'm old and don't nobody want me. That's I ain't the, Bitch, I don't want you to want me, bitch. You a woman. <laughs> Puss ass hoe. I don't want you to want me. Fuck nigga. And I, hope that, I hope a bitch clipped it and send this to this motherfucking nigga. I don't want you to want me. You a bitch. You dyke bitch. Men men can be bitches. They, they absolutely can. I ain't even gonna jump into that. And I ain't even going to give him no more shine than he already got. I mean, that, that goes to show you the delusion. You know, envy can be delusional sometimes. And now I'm old. I'm old and ain't, ain't, ain't unattractive and all this stuff. I don't want you to be attracted to me. You a woman. Puss ass fuck, Nick, sir. But you're, but you're attracted to men. So by you saying that, you know, you're not attracted to Maddie. So you saying that you're not attracted to me. That just validates our womanhood. Bitch, you you're not supposed to be attracted to me. If you want a gay nigga that, that that's a ballroom nigga that's death dropping and high kicking, bitch, I don't want you or him. <laughs> Faggot ass, bull dagging ass, bitch. I ain't co-signing none of that, Maddie. But I will say this, honey, to you and Craig both. The reason why they they always coming for y'all is because this is revolutionary. This this show is revolutionary. Y'all voices are revolutionary. Y'all know revolutionaries have never been appreciated in their time. They always been appreciated after they're gone. Fairy Puss, I tweeted months ago. I said, and I sent it to you. I said, Fag Talk is gonna go down in history as as a part of pop culture. Yeah. Long after we're done doing it, like these clips that are on social media and Instagram and YouTube and all these places, gay boys and queer people. 20 years from now are going to be still pulling up those clips. And mm -hmm. to that woman, that cisgender woman that tried to make this about her, I don't want your pussy either. Ho. Tell that hard, tell that hard neck, hard clavicle, bad built butch body bitch to shut the fuck up and mind her business. If you are cis, 
fucking gender number one. This ain't your conversation. When trans people are speaking to each other, you shut the fuck up. Shut the bitch. fuck up, ho. The way, you know, the way that we get on front line for black women. The way that we get on front line for black women. The way that we get on front line for women, period, even in our own existence. Our own existence validates womanhood. They're misogynists against fucking us. Like, are you serious? We are people who chose to live in our truth by choosing to live and present with black women. Our presentation shows and proves that we are standing with black women. Our, our, our advocacy. Wait a minute. I, we done went out. Oh, oh, shit. That was us. Hold can on. you still hear us? Yeah, oh, yeah. I can see. I can see y'all too. But but our our existence is telling is telling y'all sisters we stand with y'all. We're we're standing with y'all. Now it's some delusional trannies that that be on some other shit. But we ain't talk about them. I'm talking about people like you and me. People who are public figures. People who advocate. We're not just advocating for trans people. We're advocating for black people, and we advocate for women just with our existence alone. And the fact that you motherfuckers is always coming against us, for one, is some bullshit. Clearly, we got bigger fish to fry. Baby, last time I was here, we were talking about Project 2025. Yes. You, motherfuckers, you motherfuckers really be losing focus of the goddamn game trying to find somebody to piggyback and hate off of. But you know, all slaves didn't want to be free. Correct. Baby. Sister, let me tell you something. What I heard in in the in the in the cisgender woman's conversation, what I heard her say was, "I'm sick of having to respect these people as female or or or, mm -hmm. or woman, and they want to use talk about me and want to use their dick." No, bitch, you didn't hear anything that I said. What's that bitch name? I don't want to call it bitch. Name. Right. You don't want. You didn't hear anything that I said, ma'am. You got your masculine throat ass up there, bitch, to, to <laughs> motherfucking talk about how Amaya Scott pretty and all this stuff. Like, you tried to, and all the shit you tried to do, this came from a place of, I don't really fuck with T because I don't like what TSA. And you tried to center yourself, woman, to talk about, I'm mad at women. No, I'm not mad at women. I just told that trans man that he couldn't fuck me. I didn't even, I didn't even talk about him even having female genitalia. Mm -hmm. I didn't even talk about that. And, and then she got her butch, butch throat ass up there, butch hotel throat ass up there and talked about, I'm just tired of them being confused. And it was, there was nothing confused about what I said. There was nothing confused. <laughs> but I, I really think that this was the thing where she's trying to build her presence. You talking about that woman? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really think she was trying to build her presence. Crack. She can't use trans people to do it. The bitch better talk about crackers or something. She can't use trans people to do it. Baby, we love you. Use this trans person to do it. Mm -mm. Well, honey, they, every time they they gonna learn, they gonna learn when Maddie don't have time. I motherfucking do. I don't give a fuck. I don't, listen, I don't, I don't been deemed everything. I don't give a fuck because ain't never bitch gonna whoop me now because i'll pop a bitch out of their motherfucking throat bitch with whatever i got even if i got this in my hand i'll pop a bitch in their motherfucking throat with it i don't dis get disrespectful with a motherfucker until they get disrespectful with me i do my best to walk the line and respect everybody i, I do my best and even when my trans brothers I listened. I heard them say, I heard what was said. I was like, oh, well, I understand because they heard Mo laughing and, and Stephen laughing. Thank so God I wasn't here. They felt like that they were being made a mockery of, and that was not the case. I, it was just my delivery, you know, and it was my delivery. I could de deliberate on anything, and the shit gonna be motherfucking funny. Just like I told that bull dagging bitch that looked like a motherfucking nigga who said, bitch, that you didn't, I'm old and washed and tired, and bitch unattractive, and you, I'm the old girl, old school girl that you, bitch, you letting faggots get on you and fuck you and your motherfucking man. I could smell your nappy pussy over here, you fuck nigga. Bitch, Maddie, girl. I can you smell the nappy pussy over here, boy. Girl, if, I mean, it's no shade. You want to talk about the girls being old, but you look older than both of us, nigga. When I met you yeah. about 10 years ago, I thought you was in your 30s. Honey? Uh -huh. Hey, Dan, you know, hey, honey, you, you know. Like, looking like a beat up, a, 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 a reverse tranny with them dropping ass cheeks, bitch. You, you motherfucking right, them bush queens, won't you, puss ass fuck nigga? I can smell your nappy pussy over here, bitch. When you got online, I can smell your nappy pussy. You dirty bitch. Don't you ever think that bitch you can fix your goddamn bull dagging ass throat, bitch, and under a under a fitted cap to think that you can come for me. I have a real dick. Ma'am, sir. 
So I'm talking out. <laughs> no, um, but but real talk, like even if you were intentionally trying to make fun of the way somebody else has sex, I, like I said before, the reason I respond to these things is because I think it's bigger than me. I think it's bigger than you. And I think that these conversations are going to last beyond our, our lifetime. Yeah. But I think it's time to, to start these conversations now. I think it's time time to start these conversations now, you know. And and also to the to the cisgender woman, to the hard neck, hard clavicle ass woman, I I I have to bring up the point that penis envy isn't exclusive to transgender men. Cisgender women can experience penis envy. And every time you bring up transgender women, if you bring up dick and penis and scrotum and shaft and head and ball girl you need to re-examine you you need to unpack you heard what she was saying in her conversation but what 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 made me understand it how sounds she like she wished she had a dick it yeah. sounds like she, she what made me understand how she felt was when she said i'm sick of these trans people that's confused and i got to respect them as what they want to be as bitch because you heard me say what i want to do sexually don't got nothing to do with my with with my i with my gender identity my sexual preference don't got nothing to do with my gender identity which is the same way that i was motherfucking circling back around when i told my story about me me falling into a deep situation with this transgender man the same way i, I was trying to wrap it around and say august alcina could have had this could have been his first time with a man and it sounds like, like your feelings was involved with that man Maddie. it sounds it sound like your feelings was was involved with that man and that's why it hurts me to hear you retell this story because it sounds like you're re-traumatizing yourself it sounds like you really had care for this man and obviously in your first time talking about him you was protecting him you were still protecting him. You didn't make it no, clear that it was that it was a stuff. I'm still protecting him. I'm not going to ever like because I do care for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just that we weren't sexually compatible. It's these other trans men that's on here trying to insult me and go through all of these things as if like I'm I'm come on puss as if I'm transphobic and I'm this and the other when I'm none of the things. I will now I can be transphobic just like I cussed Tila motherfucking ugly gap teeth ass out bitch and told that nigga to pull her put her nuts from in that fake ass pussy that she got bitch pull you when you talking to me and puss ass tranny bitch pull your nuts out from in there bitch because that's an inverted you got a those are nuts inside of you because that nigga felt like that he she wanted to wanted to trash and bash me I don't have no empathy and sympathy for no transsexual bitch that feels some type of way about me bitch I'm hitting you in your nuts or your motherfucking pussy bitch whatever you got I'm hitting you in it but sadly sis even from, I'm from, you from, whatever I you got <laughs> now, now sis you, you know I'm going to be real with you you know I'm going to be real with you it, it's even in you responding like that, it, it sounds like you responding out of love as well. It sounds like these people are getting a reaction out of you because you have some type of care in your heart for them. Well, yes. And it's, it's the fact of the matter that I, I'm so respectful to trans men because I know that their voices are, are muffled and 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 that they're not. On, but a lot of them, let's keep it real, live stealth lives. They live stealth. They'll go get with a They'll go get with a, a, a bio woman and have a whole family with her and ain't said nothing to, and, 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 and will live like a man all day and don't say nothing when it comes down to trans issues. So let's talk about why we don't see them because they go live in these stealth lives. Not all of them do, but they go, but majority of them live stealth like they go get them a real cunt and they go out there and they be a dad a baby daddy to these cunts bitch and they kids bitch and not saying anything about any trans issue so let's talk about motherfucking that so bitch don't show up now offended because i said that i really had care for this trans man i really wanted our relationship to work but we were sexually com incompatible because i couldn't i didn't want to feel a strap i don't know anything about prosthetics teach me about it I don't know anything about that. I know about real dicks because I got one. A baby, I, know when, I'm, I, know I'm a dick me, I know when a dick in me gutting me, I can feel that dick swell up when it's getting ready to bust. That's why I can't no man trick me into swallowing because I know when the dick getting ready to bust, that dick swell up. You're an expert, but bitch. You're a sex expert, bitch. Who that dick swell up that head of that dick swell up, bitch? He get the shaking and trembling, and we in unison. 
baby, that dick, that dick swell up, honey. Does it sound like you talking like a motherfucker biologist, bitch? Like you talking like a urologist, honey? You are a sex expert, bitch. But this I mean, what you don't understand. I was a sex worker for years. So I'm talking about my sexual experiences in all ways. None of the motherfucking hoes was married when I told that goddamn transsexual bitch that we was when, when I went to jail with her, that we was in the shower together. She over here looking at me like, who did your body? And I'm over here like, well, girl, Christina. And then she like, mm, your titties are your t-. I'm like, hey, 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 Jake, bitch. Hey, you bull dagging ass transsexual bitch. Uh-uh. <laughs> No, ma'am. You got you got titties at the top, dick at the bottom. Ain't a bitch, but you a woman. I'm not a dyke. I'm not a dyke. I don't want to have. I don't want to have none of it's too many. I said, bitch, it's too many men's in here for you to be wanting me. It's too many real niggas in this bitch for you to be over there. Your booty hole throbbing for me. I'm not gay. Get my children out of here! Get my children out of here! Now! I'm not gay! <laughs> so my thing was, I don't understand why everybody wasn't, why none of the transsexuals up in arms because I said this about the trainee. Ma'am, I don't want oh, your baby. I don't want your titties on my back, ma'am. Oh, how, baby, how, long, how long your dick is? Ma'am, I don't want your breasts on my back. They couldn't figure out. They couldn't figure out the arguments. Since for for one, they don't give a fuck when um when you read it or coming for other trans women. But I want to speak. I want to speak on that. I want to speak on that because the bigger thing is, like I was saying, we don't need to stifle your voice. Shout out to Armani Day in the chat that Mo pulls up. That's my manager. Shout out to my beautiful trans man manager, hey, Armani. Armani Day. What's and up, he, ab he absolutely loves you, Maddie. Listen, but, listen, listen before you go, sister. Yeah, now I can hear you. Hold on, this is Mir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all ready to eat? You sure the fuck is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we get Can we get a plate over here? Can y'all get Miss Mary? Can you add uh, lift the plate to Marilyn? 